Hi there, my name's Chris Kilby. I'm a pastor in a pergola. And here is today's bite-sized Bible from 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 23. And I want to speak to you today about fathering leaders. Fathering leaders. And it's an interesting verse we're looking at today and quite a personal verse as well. Let me read you verse 23 where Paul writes this to Timothy. Stop drinking only water and use a little wine because of your stomach and your frequent illnesses. You see, this is the Apostle Paul as a father to Timothy. You see, he cares about him, not just about his teaching, not just about his leadership, not just about his ministry, but he cares about Timothy as a young leader. He cares about him as a friend. He cares about him as a brother in Christ or as a son in Christ. And he's concerned about every aspect of his life. And here he demonstrates his concern over Timothy's physical health. You see, Timothy, uh, we in indicate elsewhere, Paul indicates that he may have been a little frail, uh, obviously often ill, he refers to that here. And, and the reality of leadership life is it can be tough physically as well as spiritually, and it can be demanding. And clearly here it was taking its toll on Timothy, and he was getting ill quite often. And Timothy, as an earnest young leader, clearly wanting to do well, clearly wanting to lead the church well, he may have led himself into a little bit of what we might call asceticism, where he, he thought he needed to be teetotal, to be, to be holy or to be pure, just out of earnestness and the desire to honour God, really, but uh, and to try and keep himself clear of these kind of worldly pursuits. But but Paul in, encourages him to put a bit of wine in his water, not not for drunkenness, not to get drunk, not for the, the giddy high of getting drunk. He does it because he's he, he wants it to be like a physical tonic. Wine was known as a, a, a kind of tonic or, you know, it's used medicinally in that culture. And uh, so he wants Timothy to keep himself well. And but I love the relationship that he has with Timothy here and the fact that he's concerned about him. And I've had the great joy and privilege of having spiritual fathers who've not just cared about my church or cared about my, my, my ministry or my leadership team. They've cared about me and they've asked me the questions about how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. And when I've not been doing great, they've been the ones that have pointed it out and supported me and loved me through it. And so I want to encourage you to have spiritual fathers, and the ones that can get up close and personal with you but I guess as I get older I increasingly become a spiritual father and uh, as I lead others I have the great privilege of caring about them too and again I don't just care about their leadership or or their ministry or their teaching I, I want to increasingly care about them how they doing how they how, how they doing are they well are they physically well emotionally well spiritually well doing well in their lives and their marriages every aspect so whether you are a father or whether you're being fathered, I want to encourage you that fathering leaders is a really vital part of pastoral ministry. That was today's Bite Size Bible from 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 23. My name's Chris Kilby, a pastor in a pergola, and I shall see you next time.